Just a quick note before this free video. If you click like and subscribe, I'd be very thankful. And I still don't see any negatives in this whatsoever. Despite yesterday and like all day yesterday and today on social media, this evil company. Well, I don't know, man. I think it's there, a, I think it's a positive thing. Well, yeah, they, there could be potential negatives that come out of it that affect certain wrestlers or certain independent promotions, but we don't know that yet. Got to see this whole thing kind of get into gear first and find out, okay, how is this going to work? But if you have always been a WWE fan and your whole goal is to get to WWE, and there are people that are like that, obviously, this just provides them extra opportunities. It can pr provide them, again, everything they need to get on that track to go. And again, like we mentioned yesterday, it's not like AEW cannot do this or that they should not be doing this. They should be doing it as well. Look at Dustin Rhodes' school in Texas. That would be a great one. There, there are plenty of others that they can also link with to do something like this. Pretty sure they're not going to use Dustin's school as he's a uh, multi-time champion on AEW television. They will not use him? I, I don't think I don't think WWE ID is connected. I'm talking about AEW. I, said I AEW. see. I thought you were talking about WWE. Yes. No. Well, hey, listen, AEW can do this too. Hey, I'll talk about something after the break for those of you who think this is like some horrible thing for wrestlers. Back in a moment, Observer Live. It is incredible. I can't even mention this without people losing their minds. So if you're a WWE ID guy, you can't go to AEW? Guys. If you sign an agreement to be a WWE ID guy, it's because you want to go to WWE. It's because you chose to go to WWE. Nick Wayne did the exact same thing for AEW. He signed a deal when he was 16 that said he would go to AEW when he was 18. Or AEW. So if WWE called when he was 17, he couldn't go. Was everybody up in arms about that? I don't remember that. Apparently not because it was AEW. But if WWE had done that, if WWE had signed an agreement with Nick Wayne that you're going to go to WWE when you're 18, people would have absolutely freaked, what if he wants to go to AEW? That's exactly what AEW did with Nick. And that's what they will do with the, and WWE will do that with their ID guys. Both sides do it. And it's okay. It's okay. People are already dealing in hypotheticals like, well, what if one person wants to wrestle another person and the, the, they, the WWDID person says, no, I can't wrestle that person. I can't job to that person. This hasn't even happened yet. This, this hasn't happened. We haven't had that scenario. Believe me, when it happens, we'll know about that scenario because we're either going to have an angry wrestler or we're going to have an angry promoter that ends up putting that information out there. But until that happens, there's really nothing to say. I mean, I mean, Filthy Tom could have shot on Brutus Creed, could he have not? You know, Julius Creed faced off against Mikowski, I believe it was. Like, you know, we've already had situations where WWE... We've had talent... WWE performers work in other promotions and do jobs. Yeah. And it it's okay. I don't care what happened in WWE UK years ago, okay? Like, we've seen WWE performers work on other shows and do jobs. It hasn't been a problem. If it becomes a problem, then that's fine. You can talk about it being a problem. But you cannot look at a situation from years ago when it was basically run by a, a complete maniac and say, well, you know, because they did it that way, this is how it's going to be for this WWE. We don't, you don't know anything about this WWE ID program. If it ends up being a disaster, then we can talk about how it's a disaster. It's just started. Nothing has happened yet. Hey, listen, there's at least eight people who have already been under a WWE ID deal, and they have been for a long time. Have you heard any stories about people not being able to do jobs? Have you heard about any indie guys who... I haven't heard a single thing. Have you? Well, when it becomes a problem, then you can worry about it. But so far, it hasn't been a problem. Okay? So... And I know people are fatalistic, thinking, okay, WWE wants to take over the world. Yeah, the same way that, like, you know, the NFL, no matter how much they need a feeder system between college and pros, they're not going to work with anybody else to try to create one, because they're going to do whatever they want themselves. WWE wanting to have a network in a quote-unquote minor league program, however you want to look at this system, like, they should want that. As a fan, 
can you be somewhat cautious about it and think because of past history that this is okay they want to take over everything sure you can have that fear but the reality is is they have the right to do this and if i was a company i would be trying to do this trying to link up training companies trying to put people under contract that i think are good and try to develop them and try to push them in in their direction i mean again what is stopping AEW from doing that? Nothing. Nothing is stopping them from doing that. So, again, everybody is a little up in arms about this over, again, over something that hasn't happened yet. Period. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.